This is a quick video tutorial of the Rainbird ESP LX Plus Series irrigation controller. This is a time-based irrigation controller and was used for many years and is currently being used on a lot of residential and commercial properties. What we're going to do is go through the programming of this time-based irrigation controller. And I always like to start with time and calendar. So what we'll do is go to time and calendar. It always starts with the hour. To adjust that, we just adjust it up and down. And then to the minute, same up and down. And then ultimately to the month, to the day, and finally to the year. Once we've got our date and our time set, what we'll do is we'll start by setting the days of the week. So for example, we go to each day of the week, we either turn it on or off. So for example, if we want Monday off, we simply just turn, turn it to Monday, hit the off button, and Monday is off. The next setting is set station run times. So in this case, we've got 16 zones. The first row was one through eight, the second row was nine through 16. So for example, if we want to adjust the station run times on zone one, we click it to one through eight, and we ultimately hit the plus or the up and the down arrow to set the amount of run time that we want on each particular zone. The next setting is program start times. Now this controller comes with program A, B, C, and D, and up to six start times per program. In this case, we have just one program, program A, and we want it to come on at 8.30. So what we'll do is hit the manual start advance button, and then hit the up arrow to 8.30. And now it's coming on program A, the first start time at 8 a.m. Now we'll hit the manual start advance button to get back to the first start time, and we'll check the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, and the sixth, and ensure that we don't have any additional start times. And right now we've just got the one at 8.30 a.m. The next setting is master valve or pump select. What that does is it allows us to turn off or on the master valve on a particular zone. So for example, if we want zone two and to have the master valve turned off for whatever reason, what we'll do is go to zone two, hit the manual start advance button, and ultimately off. So right now, zone two is the only one that has the master valve terminal currently turned off. The next setting is rain delay. This allows you to turn days off, for example, for rain. If we were to have gotten rainfall overnight, and we don't want the irrigation system to run for a couple days. What we would do is go here and put a two-day rain delay on the irrigation system. The next setting is that time and calendar. The next setting that we have is what we call day cycle. We typically leave it in a custom setting. Custom allows you to turn days off or a custom schedule, turn days off that you'd like off. We also in this controller have the option for cyclic watering, odd or even watering if watering restrictions were to be enacted. But typically we always leave it custom and then turn off particular days if you so desire. The next setting is test. This allows you to run through all the zones for X amount of minutes. Currently for two minutes, what you would do is push and hold the manual start button and it'll start with zone one and ultimately go through all the zones that have time on them. The next setting is water budget. What that does is increases or decreases all of the run times on a percentage basis. So for example, if we want to increase all the run times on program A, by 5%, what we would do is simply put it up to 105%. Now, subsequently, we can also go the opposite way. So for example, if we're starting to get some more cloudy days and we want to reduce our runtime, we simply reduce it down. And all the zones on that program would reduce by the percentage. Now, the, this controller also has some unique settings. So for example, if you want to have a particular day shut off every month, so we'll say the fourth day on every month, what we'll do is go to time and calendar, hit the manual start advance button five times. And what we'll do, for example, if we want that fourth day turned off, we'll go to the fourth day of the month, 
hit the manual start advance button and go to off. Now the fourth day of the month is always turned off. Now a unique feature to this controller is what they call a raster test. Raster test basically checks all of the zones for open, closed, or short circuits. So what we'll do is go to the off position, push and hold the on off button. Can, the screen will look very similar. Hit the manual start advance button. And what it's going to do is it's going to show that we have an open master valve because I currently don't have anything hooked up. We hit the advance button one more time. It's going to show that zone one is open. I don't have any wires or any valves hooked up to it, but what it's doing is telling me it's going through all the zones and it's telling me that right now nothing is currently hooked up to zone one or zone two. It's kind of a unique feature of this controller and it helps you diagnose a service issue if one arises. Now this controller also has the option for a rain sensor. So right now it's got the option for off or active. So if we had to have rain sensor hooked up, we can simply turn it off and do any service that's necessary if the rain sensor would have been activated. If it's in the active position and the rain sensor is tripped or has a subsequent amount of, of rainfall to shut off the irrigation controller, the red light would be indicated. The controller also will tell you if there's a fault. So for example, if you have a, a short in the underground sprinkling system somewhere in the field, the red light would come on here in the upper left-hand corner, indicating that there's an issue out in the field. The last special feature of this irrigation controller is to run the system manually. Basically what we'll do is put it in the automatic position, push the program button for what program we want to run, and then hit the manual start advance button. What that's going to do is ultimately start the first zone that's got time on it, and then you can advance through the zones. Thank you for watching.